Hello, and welcome back to another Friday Show and Tell. Today, home maintenance projects. We're going to be talking about the exciting world of doorstops. Yeah, yeah, that. So the, uh, the background story on this is that when we bought our Roomba, we had baseboard doorstops, the springy kind, and when the Roomba would go around the rooms, it would have issues going around these doorstops, so I switched out all those baseboard doorstops to the hinge-mounted doorstops. Worked, worked great. But after about a year, we started having the doors hit the drywall and cause dents and everything else. So now it's figuring out why this is. And I think I know why. I think that every time that door opens, that doorstop changes distance just a little bit. So it's a screw thread there that we set the position and it is supposed to maintain that position, but after time, it changes. I think that's because these door stops have a very poor threading on them. So I'm gonna do a little test. I'm gonna put a little dot right here on the end. And hopefully we can see that on the camera. And then as I tap this, we see that dot rotate. So if that door opens up, once, twice a day, then that rotates and becomes shorter and that door can open further. So how do we fix this? Uh, two options. One, we could put a nut on that thread and lock it into place. Uh, I measured that thread and it is six millimeter, it's metric, and a nut on that probably wouldn't look the best and six millimeter nuts are not the cheapest solution. So what I think we're going to do is put a little bit of thread locker on that. Let me go get that. And so I have blue thread locker that I am going to wind this out, put a drop on the threads, and what the thread locker does, it fills in those gaps and locks those threads into place. And for this application, we can be a little liberal on the application. And then that has to dry. So we're going to let that dry and come back to that in a few minutes. Uh, by the time I get around to it, it might be an hour, but we'll let it dry, set up, uh, maybe 30 minutes now. So be back soon. Hi, we're back. It's only been about 10 minutes. The thread locker says to wait 20 minutes and for full cure, 24 hours but after 10 minutes, I've already seen an improvement. So I've marked the, the dot a little bit brighter, a little bit uh, more apparent there, so that hopefully you can see a difference. And as I'm tapping the side, that is no longer rotating. So as it cures some more, it's going to really lock that into place to help keep that door open and not hit into the, uh, hit into the drywall as it, as it is opened. Thanks for joining me today. Hope you enjoyed this Friday show and tell. Uh, if you enjoyed what you saw, please like, please subscribe, please comment below, and I'll see you another time.